Hi. Today we are going to show you how you can quickly and easily process data from endless low raw sensors using a JACE controller and Niagara with BACnet communication. Let's start. For this video, we are using endless low raw sensors. The endless low raw sensors will communicate via radio with an endless low raw BACnet receiver. The sensors and the receiver will be communicating using the low raw proprietary mode. If you are not familiar with our low raw proprietary mode, please watch our knowledge base video explaining the differences between LoRa1 and our proprietary low raw. The integration of endless sensors data will be done on a Tritium JACE controller using the Niagara framework. Here is a quick demo. Once the BACnet receiver is connected to your network, the first thing we have to do is to access the endless receiver's web interface. The configuration server can be accessed using the IP address which is provided in the Endless LoRa setup guide. From the TXConfig page, you will set up the sensors which will be communicating with the receiver. In this example, we will add two sensors, an ambient sensor and a pulse sensor. We will start by adding the ambient sensor, then we will add the pulse sensor. It is worth remembering that our receivers can manage up to 40 sensors. We can now power up each sensor and wait for the pairing confirmation. Pairing can take up to 30 seconds per device, so we will speed this part up a bit. During pairing phase, the sensors will dialogue with the receiver and get their settings. They will then send confirmation to the receiver that everything went well. Once paired with the receiver, a green dot appears confirming the sensor is communicating correctly with the receiver. From the RX config page, you can configure the settings for the receiver. In this example, we are using the BACnet device mode, and this means that each sensor paired with the receiver will appear as a BACnet device in your network. Moving on now to the network page. This page allows you to validate that messages are being received at the correct transmission interval and with a good radio signal. From Niagara, once your BACnet network is configured, you can discover the devices on your network. You can now see three devices. The first one is the receiver, and the two other devices are the sensors we've just configured. Moving on, we can add our two sensors to our database to discover their BACnet objects. Let's discover the objects of our first sensor. As you can see, all the objects from the first sensor are displayed. All the information relating to each sensor is available, such as device ID, or SSI signal, battery level, and obviously measurements from the sensor. You can add any of these points to your database. Information from endless sensors is now available in your Niagara database. It is as simple as that. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact our sales team. We will be very happy to tell you more about the possibilities available to you when you use our low raw product range. We hope to hear from you soon. Bye.